TV celebrates a moment in black history. And now, the moment you've been waiting for. What? This is crazy. Oh, Marina, it's not about the money. That's a good script. That's the beauty of being a film student. You get to make these mistakes and get nurtured along the way. Welcome back. I'm with the co-founders of True Medispa, Dr. Francine Gerstein and Dr. Romy Sable. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for having us. You're both so beautiful. Thank you. So (laughs) So are you. you. Well, that's very kind of you to say, but but we have people for that. (laughs) But you guys, you're so naturally beautiful. And you expect when you hear doctor, you expect somebody stuffy. And you're not that way at all. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been uh, practicing at the spa, the Medispa? We opened up in 2005, so it'll be almost six years coming up to in June. Wow. Okay. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, what's so great about what you do is, you, you I mean, it, there's spa in your name, but it's not a frou-frou place, is it? You, When you go to see you guys, you are going to get results, and you're going to look fantastic. So tell me a little bit uh, about what you do. Well, Dr. Sable and I both do injections. We inject Botox, fillers, um, dermal fillers, and we also inject Botox for hyperhidrosis, which is problems sweating in the underarm area. We also treat um, unwanted veins in the legs. And we have medical estheticians that do laser hair removal, photo rejuvenation, fraxel, chemical peels. And what I love about that is you can look great and you don't have to go under the knife. Do you find more and more people are asking about that? Absolutely. A ton of people. That's exactly what um, mm. we love to do is sort of prevent or, you know, stave off the, of the surgery. A lot of people come to us saying they're either afraid of having surgery or they feel they're too young to have surgery or they just don't want to have surgery. And it's a great way for us to be able to fix and um, improve things and turn back the clock without actually having to have surgery. And Botox and fillers have become the number one cosmetic procedure, haven't they? Yes, they certainly have. Yep. Yes. And you can do it on your lunch break, too. No How great time. is that? Yeah. yeah. All right, so Botox. Well, I'm getting to that point, and I'm thinking it's probably time, you know. <laughs> Come see us. <laughs> we, do we do it on each other. <laughs> I know people who've had Botox, and f- to be quite honest, they may not have that frozen look that we're all afraid of, because you've seen the people on Desperate Housewives, yes. please. But uh, what they do have is this look of being slightly disinterested in everything I'm saying. Like, they look like they're just... Not paying attention. Do, and we, is do that, we look like we're paying attention? No, you look we look like we're paying attention. We look here and here. Yeah. Yes. See, now there you go. We totally have Botox. Yeah, exactly. we're on Botox. So, what's too. the trick? What's the secret? It's, we're not going to tell you the secret. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it was just a joke. Um, you have to do it in a natural way. Exactly. And you don't want to overdo it. Right. right. And it's knowing where to put where the to needle, put it, right? And how much to put in. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You know, it's really important for people. I think even most of our clients that come to us that say that they want the natural, they want to look natural. They don't want someone to know they've had it done. That's right. And that's the goal, is to look better without looking like you've had something done. Right. You don't want to have to feel like you need to explain to people exactly. why you look so good. Exactly. But, and then the other thing is, <laughs> you know, you're worried about it being safe. Botox, botulism, uh, you know, why would I do something that could potentially make me sick? What do you say to that? Well, it's been out for 30 years. Really? Yeah, great safety track, um, safety record. It's actually been coined to be uh, safer than Tylenol. No Yeah, way. Some, some doctors have yeah. said that. Many doctors have said that. And actually, it, when injected into tiny amounts in the areas, um, it just relaxes just that those local muscles. And... Um, yeah, it's very safe. That's it. Just relax. It's actually even used in children for certain medical conditions. What? And it, yeah, and much yeah, higher doses than we pulse. actually it's use in pulsey. cosmetic reasons, yeah. And I've never heard of anyone not being able to frown to death. So there you go. <laughs> it's, uh... Okay, so, but, you know, like coloring your hair, once you get started, yeah. then, you, then you're hooked for life, right? You got to keep it up. Exactly. Is that right? How That's often true. do you have to have it done? Oh, well, initially every three months, but if you're good with your appointments and you come every three months for the first year, you can stretch it to every four months, five months, depending on the area treated, the strength of the muscles. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. So if you pack them into the beginning, exactly. mm-hmm. then eventually you can yeah. do fewer treatments. Yeah. Especially in the front area. Yes. Exactly. Especially in the front area, which is yeah. the most commonly treated area. 
So I'm imagining that, uh, it, let's say you run out of money or you forget or you just don't feel like it anymore and you stop having treatments that your face collapses. Is that what happens? No, it doesn't collapse. <laughs> no? It goes back to where you would have been had you not been doing the treatments. Okay. So it, it, it's all reversible, so the muscle action starts to come back slowly. So you'll just be able to frown again. You'll be able to lift up your eyebrows and create those lines in your forehead, smile, and get the crow's feet. Mommy, you, you look mad. You better go back exactly. to the doctor. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> I always tell people that we have so many parents and teachers that come in and say, you know, I'm here because my students say, how come you always look so angry? And I don't feel angry, so I'm here to get rid of the anger look. <laughs> <laughs> what, tell me the, the science of a wrinkle. How does it form? Well, depending on which wrinkle, but some people we call dynamic lines and static lines. Dynamic lines are lines that are formed when you do a repeated muscle action. Yeah. So someone that walks around frowning the whole day will eventually, you know, when their, cell, when their skin turnover is not as fast as when it was when they were 10, develop the lines. If they raise their eyebrows a million times, you're going to get lines across your forehead. Then there's other lines that happen just from gravity and aging. The like fine lines here. Yes, That's ones one down here. Ones. Sometimes you can have sleep lines from, from sleeping That's on your face. That's true. Yeah. yeah. You do Botox for sleep lines? You can't. You just have to change your sleeping habit. <laughs> sleep, sleep on your back. Yeah. And now Botox isn't the only thing you do. The fillers, no, that's getting fillers. lots of interest as well. Yeah, we um, you know, tell me about the safety f about fillers. Yep. Why don't you go? They're very safe. They're, um, it's a product actually that's manufactured and it's very similar to a product we already have in our body and our joints, the hyaluronic acid. It helps smooth things over, so it helps in our joints to make things move um, smoothly. The same thing, it helps, helps plump up the skin. So in areas of volume loss, yes. You used to do this a lot, but that's yes. changing, isn't it? It is changing, actually. So um, for many years, we were doing these nasolabial folds or lines, um, but now what we're finding is that people are actually losing their collagen up here and their fat up here. And what happens is like a, a, a drape, it kind of starts to hang, and it creates these lines and creates gels and creates lines down here. So what Dr. Gerstein and I and other doctors are doing now is we're um, revolumizing the cheek areas and that's helping lift everything up so that we don't have to chase these lines directly and it looks really natural too. All right. What about lip fillers? Yep. Same thing. So it's the same uh, fillers that we use for cheeks and nasolabial folds and we use for lips as well. And do you do the thing where you take the fat from the butt and put it in the face? Do you do that? Surgery. That's that surgery. surgery. Yeah, that's, we don't do that. No knives, no scalpels yeah, on no our scalpels. premises. Yeah. Just, needle. <laughs> Just needle. Men. Are you seeing more, more men in the office? Yes, we are. Really? Yes, it's starting to pick up. I think we both find that a lot of uh, wives are coming in or girlfriends, and yeah. the next thing they um, bring their husbands, boyfriends, and you got to come in, come see the girls. <sighs> and they bring them in. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's a lot of info on the website, so uh, yeah. if anyone has any questions, they can go to your website. Absolutely. And, yes. and they can call you as well, I would of course. imagine. Definitely. Of course, Definitely. yeah. And if you want to look like these two, oh, so nice. <laughs> wow, you guys just look fantastic. Uh, go to truemedispa.com. All right, I think it's time. <laughs>